going from sleeping under the bridge to becoming a business, business owner on Auburn Avenue, I've really discovered how powerful Auburn Avenue actually is. Uh, Auburn Avenue is full of dreams. Auburn Avenue is full of uh, inspiration and history. I think the uh, becoming a streetcar is going to be very great. It's going to bring a lot of people down on Auburn Avenue, and we will really, uh, they really get to see a part of history and feel a part of history. I've definitely seen some positive change on Auburn Avenue. People feel safe when they come down. I have a lot of customers that come in and they, they walk in and they're really interested in the history of Auburn. And I went from sleeping under a bridge as a homeless man with mismatched shoes on to owning a business on that same street. To in, in the year 2000, I was working on the back of a garbage truck. I worked at the label pools. And I was working on the back of a garbage garbage truck over in Horseshoe Bend. And the guy was bagging into a cul-de-sac, and there was three dump trucks, but he only saw, he saw two and there were three. And I'm on the, the back of the garbage truck, and he bagged me into the dump truck, crushing all this. That put me in a wheelchair. And my therapy was just showing me how to get in a wheelchair. But less than a year later, I was out of that wheelchair and gaining my strength back to walk again. And what I did with that wheelchair, I took a cooler and set the cooler down in the wheelchair and I put a basket on top with the chips and I would walk around and sell 50 cent water, candy for a quarter and chips. So as I did a lot of walking, <laughs> Trying to figure out how to make money, I said it would be great if I could put it on the bike. So through trial and error, I designed the bike, carrying the cooler on the back and the baskets on the front for the chips and the, the, uh, the snacks. So that's how that came about. Now during the midst of this, I was still struggling with addiction. I would, I would, I would be clean for a moment. I'd get out and I'd feel real good about myself. I would take three steps forward, only to fall five steps back. In my struggles with addiction. I ended up uh, getting arrested for possession. Uh, I'll be down on the bridge uh, and I'll get uh, locked up for possession of cocaine. And I went before the judge and the judge sentenced me to a program uh, that forced me to stay clean. And uh, it, it forced me to stay clean long enough to decide that this is the life I want. I want a life I, in which I can live my dreams. It says the picture above shows Big Mouth Ben today. And Big Mouth Ben, we was strung out on drugs. And that's the picture of when I was out there. Drugs, and this is the picture of me today. My mission statement is to inspire the world. I want to encourage people to live their life to the fullest. And they tell everybody to turn their life around. Decide today to make it happen. If I can do it, you can do it.